We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey everybody and welcome back. So today is a special day. It's not just Valentine's Day, which is why I'm wearing the tie because I've got a date with my lady. It's also a day that I had a really cool bicycle show up at the shop. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about vintage bikes from the 1960s. And I had one walk in the door here today. So let me show you the bike and tell you why I think it's so cool. And as much as I do get real motorcycles in the shop here, we also get vintage bicycles. And the one I'm gonna talk about today is late 1960s Jetstar German-made muscle bike. These were also called wheelie bikes because of the over the seat position on the wheel, really facilitated doing wheelies in a great way. They were designed to look a lot like an old chopper with the ape hanger bars, the cool banana seat, and even this bike has a shifter, which is really unique. These bikes were it. Just last summer, I went out to a scrapyard and pulled a bunch of these drag bikes out of barns and fields and attics on a guy's property. Why, it just feels like yesterday. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure, I'll come up. Looks like this ladder's been here a while. So it's a pretty good little haul today, all the old bicycles, coke signs. They stayed good because they were up, up in the barns. That trip was a lot of fun, but those bikes were in way worse condition. This bike is pretty well showroom, and it's from the same era, about 1969 to 72. Not a thing is needed, you can get on this bike and ride away right now. And I have not seen this model before. This bike has about the coolest three-speed shifter I've ever seen. And look at the badge, the emblem on this, that Royal Sport emblem, so cool. This is a killer bike, and it's gonna be an awesome piece for any collector. And you might ask yourself, who would buy a vintage bicycle like this? Is it gonna be a kid, is it gonna be a teenager? In fact, it's most likely gonna be a middle-aged man, not unlike myself. Some guy who remembers it from when he was a kid and wants to take it to a car show, sporting events, or even just ride around the neighborhood and relive his youth. Because we all know that guys just never grow up. This bike is hopefully gonna find a new home in the near future, and with the condition it's in, I'm not gonna be surprised if it sells pretty quick. When you're buying a vintage bicycle, there's a couple things you wanna look for. One is originality. This bike has never been painted. A lot of times you see where parents have brush painted or spray painted them. This bike retains its original paint and decals, and that Royal Sport decal is actually really cool. It's got a race car on it. But you can see all original decals intact. That's super important. The next thing you wanna look for is condition of the rims. Uh, over time you can get pitting and rust uh, this one has a little bit of dust but overall the chrome's very nice a little bit of pitting in the front fender nothing that can't be fixed and the back fender is pretty good then you want to look to see how complete is this bicycle is it missing anything in some cases you'll see where the shifter here has been removed and replaced with the more conventional shifter up on the handlebar this one is in place and is in good working condition and finally Condition of upholstery. Are there any rips and tears? Has it been reupholstered? You can tell by whether it has the factory stitching on it or not. This one does. Sometimes you'll see where it's stretched over and somebody's mom or dad has just stapled some new fabric on it. Not the end of the world, but it's always nice to get one that's original. And does it have the chain guard? And of course, this one does. So this is a really nice example of a really cool bike. So make sure to check your basement, check your attics, and see if you've got one of these vintage muscle bikes sitting around because they can be worth thousands of dollars. And that is money in the bank when you've got something cool and exciting like a vintage muscle bike. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button somewhere up there in the top of the screen. Uh, you can also check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca. Uh, on, we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Or you can come live in person. This is an actual little store. Uh, you can come visit us in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, where uh, the weather is uh, tropical in summer somewhat and uh, super cold in winter, but uh, definitely warm in here and full of antiques. So come by and see us sometime. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.